Hello everyone, and here is a tutorial on how to save iMovie projects into your Dropbox account. Now, unfortunately, iMovie doesn't have the same kind of Dropbox integration that I would like it to have. It would be really nice if you could save the video straight from the iMovie app directly into Dropbox. Unfortunately, you can't. But there's a little workaround, and I want to show you how to do that right now. So, here's the iMovie app. This is the, the projects screen that you see when you open up iMovie. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and click on the uh, one of the projects that you want to save. Okay, so when you click on the project you want, you get the screen here with the options over here. The option you want is this button right here, the save or the share button. Click there. Once you've done that, you have the options. You can direct um, upload it directly to YouTube that's certainly an easy way to do it but if you want to save the actual video file you're gonna to have to go down here and click on save video okay choose an export size I usually choose large it makes the file size uh, more compact okay and then it says copying movie to camera roll it's saving the uh, video to the camera roll on the iPad Okay, and then you get the pop-up that tells you that it's done. Click OK. Okay, now the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open Dropbox on the iPad. So go find Dropbox on the iPad. If it's a school iPad, one that's used by a lot of people, um, hopefully Dropbox is not currently logged into anyone's account. Uh, it's not a good idea to log into your Dropbox account and leave it logged in on an iPad that's used by a lot of people because that gives people access to your Dropbox files. You don't want to do that. So when you open up Dropbox on a school iPad, you should get the login screen. So click on sign in. Okay, log in with your email address and the password that you've chosen. Now whenever you log in first into Dropbox, you always get this camera upload screen. Uh, it's really annoying. The only thing you need to do is click cancel. If you don't if you hit enable camera upload if you hit enable camera upload what will happen is all of the pictures and videos that are currently on that iPad will start automatically uploading to your Dropbox account and you don't want that so go ahead and hit cancel but what you do want to do is you want to upload the movie file that you just saved so the way I have my Dropbox set up I have folders for all of my classes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the class that I want to save my movie to. Okay, when you're in the, the folder that you want, you go ahead and click this button right up here, those three little dots at the top. That opens the upload menu for you. So if you want, you can create a new folder to put your new videos in, or just go ahead and click on upload. That will open up the iPad's camera roll. The video that you want is usually the most recent file. So go ahead and click on your video file. As you can see, it puts a check mark on it. You can actually check off several different files at the same time. So click on upload. And then that starts saving that video file into your Dropbox account. Last thing, once you get that video in your Dropbox, again, click on the little gear um, icon at the bottom here and you want to make sure that you sign out from Dropbox if this is a, a school owned iPad so that you don't give your Dropbox files access to the next person that picks up that iPad. Okay, so that's pretty much all that is to that process. I know it's a lot of steps there but once you do that you will have students uh, iMovie videos from school iPads saved into your personal Dropbox account. 